have a haul video and I'm going to be showing you all of the plants that I got on my California plenty road trip. I stayed mostly in Southern California and I saw so many beautiful plants. Oh my gosh, I can't even get over it. I'm still like on a high from the plant nurseries that I saw. So let me just get started before I start rambling too much. I'm going to go nursery by nursery. So I went to Garden by the Sea, which is a nursery in Encinitas and it is actually closing down so they had a big sale all the plants were 40 percent off some were even marked to 70 percent off but none of the plants that i got were that marked down so i got this baby little cactus it's called oh there's a bug on here oh it's called a thimble cactus basically i have my roommate has two little pieces off of a thimble cactus and there's a woman who I'm friends with who has been asking me, hey, can you sell me those? And it's not my plant, so I can't. So I actually got her this entire plant as a gift. And the second plant that I got from Garden by the Sea is this beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous White Ghost Euphorbia. If you saw my video about cactus shopping, you know that I have been looking for one of these. I found this one at Garden by the Sea and it was 40% off. So I ended up getting it for like $24. So it is just gorgeous. The spines on this plant are just absolutely incredible. The colors, the variegation. Um, there's some parts that have just completely pale with no green and I am just obsessed and I cannot wait to propagate off of this and share it with other people. Next place I went was Barrels and Branches, also in Encinitas, and this place, if I lived, oh, sorry, can I put my phone on silent, oops. If I lived in the Encinitas, San Diego area, I would be at this place like every weekend, every weekday actually, because it was so beautiful and calming and such a great place to be. So let me show you what I got. Okay, the first thing is this Hoya of Vada. And I, this was not on my wish list when I first arrived in California, but I saw it and I was like, oh, I actually need that. <laughs> because I have never seen a Hoya Abada in person. I actually have only seen a Hoya Carnosa in person in Tucson because I don't know why, but the Hoya market here is just non-existent. So I found this Hoya, I've seen it online and I just kind of thought there's no way I could ever get one but I saw it and it's incredibly beautiful. The splashes on it are turning pink and I was just so, so, so freaking excited to find this plant. The way that Hoyas grow is so interesting to me and I cannot wait to watch this one get bigger. Okay, the second thing that I got from Barrels and Branches is this Peperomia and I don't know the actual kind that it is because I have never seen Peperomia in person. Like, okay, actually I've seen Peperomia abvada or something, one of the super common ones, uh, no, no, obtusifolia. I've seen the Peperomia obtusifolia in person because those are a lot more common. The leaves are like sparkly. I can't even get over how gorgeous it is. Okay, the next place I went was Cordova Nursery, Cordova Gardens, I believe it's actually called. And there, oh, hold on, I just need to pause. There was where I just walked into the nursery, to their big houseplant greenhouse, and just had a moment. <laughs> like, it was so beautiful and serene again, like just so gorgeous. And the greenhouse was huge. There's an entire fiddle leak, fiddle leak. Ugh. There's an entire fiddle leaf fig forest in the back and I was just, oh wow, I need a fiddle, but I am so scared. Okay, I was on the hunt for Hoya Compacta, Variegata, and String of Hearts. Those were like the number one things that I really, really, really wanted to find. First, I'll show off this. This is a Hoya Compacta Variegata. As you can see, it is variegated and these leaves are insane. I have been obsessing over this plant for a while now. Just like the look of them when they get longer 
is insane. I just cannot believe that this plant exists. And I know that they are definitely prone to pests because if you can see, they have a lot of little nooks and crannies for pests to hide in. So I'm definitely going to have to do probably some preventative maintenance on this. I cannot wait for it to get longer and start growing like crazy. This string of hearts, I cannot believe the first time I saw it, there was like 10 or 20 of them at this nursery. So if you are in the SoCal area, the Encinitas area, you can definitely find these at Cordova Nursery. This one is just the green variety. It's starting to cascade just a little bit. This plant, amazing. I'm so happy that I found it. All right, the next place I went was Mickey's Hoard uh, something. It was Mickey's Gardens or something like that in West Hollywood. And I got this Monstera Addisonii. And it, hey, it looks small, but um, I actually didn't see any out on the floor, so I asked if they had any, and she pointed out that they had some that were not for sale yet, which was one of these, and she just told me that basically they had come bare root from Holland, and they were trying to nurse them back to health. So as you can see, like there is some droop going on. It's not like the happiest. It is putting out two new leaves, so that's a sign that it is doing a lot better. So I'm just excited to see this come back to health. I know that it's a plant that I can care for because I already have one. It is a different variety though because the, the holes in these leaves are much bigger and much more on brand for what I was wanting in an Addisonii. So um, I'm excited to watch this grow and I've heard that they grow really fast. So yeah, that's what I got from Mickey's. Okay, one of the plants that I knew for sure going in that I wanted was a watermelon peperomia. Cannot find these anywhere near me, and I didn't want to order online, but I did find a big one. I got this plant from Folia Collective in LA. Um, I went to the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast live recording, and it was so amazing. Like, oh my gosh, I had so much fun just talking and hanging out with other plant people, and just it was so exciting to be there and into plant energy. So, yes this plant. It is so cute. It's called the watermelon peperomia, I'm sure, because it resembles watermelon. Common names, you know? But anyway, so there's a few pieces that are just kind of like outliers, like these two. So I think I'm just going to cut these off and try to propagate from them if I can, because I would love to have like a ton of these just from propagation. Another plant that I got from Folia Collective that night is this variegated syngonium. Look at that amazing pure white leaf. Oh my gosh. Like this is absolutely gorgeous. The marbling on some of these leaves is amazing. They had, I think four of these out on the floor and I saw them and immediately knew that I wanted one. I think I was the first person to start buying plants because <laughs> I was not going to pass up this opportunity. Like if somebody else grabbed all of them and I didn't have the chance, I would have really been so mad at myself. So I am stoked that I found this. It was not something that I was looking for, but rather something that just fell into my lap and I'm so happy that it did. So yes, variegated syngonium from Folia Collective. Okay, now I have some plant accessories I wanted to show you. But first, from Folia Collective, we got these beautiful air plants and they, I don't know what kind of air plant it is. I'm not like well versed on air plants, but I know that Hannah has one of these. So this is step one in growing my air plant collection. It's my first one ever. So I'm gonna ask Hannah for some tips and I'm just really excited about this. I did not expect to get this. It was totally free in our little gift bag. So I'm gonna show you what else we got in that gift bag. The first thing was we got a push garden from Mod Sprout and basically it's like one of those push pops and you just push it up in an area where you have prepared for seeds and basically you push it and cover up the seeds and then water it just like you would any other seeds. And this one specifically is the Hummingbird blend. I'm pretty sure that they have um, other blends, but basically it's just to encourage the bees to keep living their lives and pollinating everything. So really excited to use that. We got this really cute sticker page of some um, tropical leaves from Folia Collective, very fun. We got a pop socket, a Bloomer Girl Radio merch pop socket, which is really exciting. I need to get a new phone case before I use this because I'm pretty sure it'll be on my phone like forever and my phone case is currently 
going downhill fast. We got a pin from Hemlava. I'm probably saying that wrong, but we got a pin and it's a basil pin, which is so sweet because basil was actually the first plant that I owned successfully, so it's kind of special. And also, I have been following along Hemlava since I started my plant journey. Like, she was one of the first, like, planty themed accounts that I ever followed. And just like seeing the quality of her work, I'm like, oh, I have to buy one now. Next, which I'm so excited about, I've been seeing this online a lot, like a lot of other plant Instagram people have these. And basically it's a little cone. It's from RT1 Home or just RT1, but I'm pretty sure it's RT1 Home. And it's this cone that you use in, <laughs> hey there. It's this cone that you use in propagation. And basically you just, this will turn any glass that you have at home into a propagation vessel. You need a glass with a narrow top so that the plant doesn't just fall through and putting the plant right through so that it sits on top of here. I'm really excited about this. I might order a few more because this is really cute. The last thing we got, which I'm really excited about, is this bloom bag. Um, I think from the company called Bloom Bags. I'll need to double check that and make sure. But it is a 100% recycled, planter bag. It is made out of 100% recycled um, materials. Some or most of the materials are plastic bottles. So really, really cool to clean up our space and make something beautiful that gives back. And um, I'm definitely going to be planting some flowers in this this spring. I need to go out shopping for some. I think that I'm going to do some snapdragons in here um, and maybe some marigolds. I'm not sure yet, but I kind of want something tall. so. Snapdragons might be the move. But anyway, I love spring flowers and I really, really love this because I can move it anywhere I want, especially like being an apartment dweller or a rental dweller. It's kind of hard to plant things in the ground. So I really like cool and inventive planters like this for outside. This is not from California. I got this a few days before I left actually. But it is this vase here. It's supposed to be like a flower, like individual flower vase. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you freaking enjoyed seeing all my plants. Let me know down below if you want to see me like Marie Kondo my plants or just go through them and figure out which ones are not sparking joy anymore. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, there are certainly more to come. And subscribe to my channel, like this video, whatever you want to do, comment down below your favorite plant that I got. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.